guys, this is Supreet of Slam Up Wrestling, and this is the review show for Monday Night Raw for, for September 2nd, 2019. Raw was held from Royals Farm Arena in Baltimore, Maryland, the same arena where AEW will be doing their next pay per view called Full Gear on November 9th. Speaking about Monday Night Raw, the show kicked off with a contract signing between Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman for the Universal Championship match at Clash of Champions. Rollins brought up the fact that he has defended two titles in the past, that was Night of Champions in 2015. He also brought up the fact that he has slayed the beast, which Strowman couldn't, and at Clash of Champions, he is gonna slay the monster. The OC would interrupt. The Baltimore crowd started chanting AJ Styles. Styles said being the US champion means he should be front in line for a Universal Championship match. At one point, AJ cut off Michael Cole, who was telling the OC to not to interrupt this contract signing. AJ shouted at Cole and basically said to shut up or else. Styles took the contract and tore it up, which led to Strowman whacking the contract signing table onto AJ Styles, which led to a big brawl. They cut to commercial and back from commercial, we had an impromptu match between Rollins and Strowman versus Gallows and Anderson. Rollins got a victory for his team with a schoolboy pin on Anderson. Styles came in and started attacking Rollins, but Rollins started firing back by getting rid of both Anderson and Styles. Strowman started charging and taking out both Gallows and Anderson, and also accidentally taking out Rollins in the way. Strowman, distracted by what he has done, was attacked by Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler. It was a 5 on 2 beatdown as Rollins and Strowman were laid out. That was not the last thing that the OC would do as they even attacked Cedric Alexander during his interview which means Cedric Alexander may have a feud with AJ Styles and possibly be the next challenger for the United States title. It was later announced that next week there will be another contract signing between Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman, but this time Stone Cold Steve Austin will, will be the moderator. We know why Stone Cold is being brought up to possibly move the ticket sales for the MSG show, which haven't been good lately. Moving on, back to in ring action Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler would beat Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins in a quick match with Robert hitting the glorious DDT on Kurt Hawkins for the 1, 2, 3. Next up we had a match between Lacey Evans and Natalia. It was a decent match by the way. Lacey Evans is slowly improving her in-ring work for the past few weeks. She got the victory by hitting the woman's ride on Natalia. Becky Lynch was out next to cut an awesome promo on Sasha Banks. Lynch brought up the fact that Guys like Charlotte and Sasha were the centerpiece while she was the sidekick and stuff. Sasha would interfere. Sasha Banks brought up the whole fact about the Nia Jax incident. She wished that Nia Jax punched her in the face instead. Becky started challenging Sasha to get in the ring, but Sasha refused and instead challenged her to a match for Clash of Champions. So it was made official later that Becky Lynch will be defending the Raw Women's Championship against Sasha Banks at Clash of Champions. Then they cut to the Street Profits who were reacting to the Sasha Banks and Becky stuff. I'm gonna say one thing. It's time that they... It's time that these guys made their ending debut instead of being narrators for the whole show. After Clash of Champions, maybe, I don't know, but let's see. Next up, we had a King of the Ring quarterfinal match between Cedric Alexander and Baron Corbin, who was favoring his left arm due to the attack by the OC. The match was very good, especially at the end with many near falls. Cedric Alexander was going for a springboard clothesline, but Corbin made him lose his balance and would hit and would hit the end of days. Corbin now has qualified for the semi-finals next week. 
Next up, Bailey was being interviewed by Charlie Caruso. Bailey, Bailey was being asked about the Sasha Banks stuff, to which Bailey replied that she won't let anybody overshadow her. Next, the Viking Raiders once again beat up some jobbers, and that's it. Sarah Scriber later tried to get some comments from Sasha Banks on what Bailey said, but Sasha bugged off Sarah Scriber, and that's it. Another King of the Ring quarterfinal match between Samoa Joe and Ricochet. The match was getting good until Joe locked in the Kakina clutch on Ricochet from the top rope. Ricochet countered by pushing Joe, which, which led to both men crashing down. Referee countered the 1 2 3, but both with both men's shoulders were against each other, which led to a no contest of sort. It was later made clear that both Joe and Ricochet have advanced to the have advanced to the semi-finals and it will be a triple threat match next week between Samoa Joe, Ricochet and Baron Corbin. I don't know why they did this but still but still it adds a little unpredictability to the tournament. Next we had a backstage segment involving Strowman and Rollins. Strowman was thinking that Stone Cold and Rollins were setting something up against him and said if, if Stone Cold does interfere in his business then he will get these hands. Next up we had an awesome Firefly Funhouse and this time they were bringing up the, all the rumors ab about the Fiend challenging for the Universal title at Hell in a Cell. And they did confirm in a way that The Fiend will be challenging either Strowman or Rollins for the title at Hell in a Cell. I don't know, I still think it's too early for him to go for the title. But let's see what happens. Rey Mysterio was in an interview segment with Charlie Cariso. Rey was saying it was because of his son that he still will be competing and he has still more things left that he wants to achieve. The Miz would beat Cesaro which left a bitter taste to most of us as he was having a, that cool performance at NXT UK TakeOver Cardiff during the weekend. It is better if Cesaro, I think it is better if Cesaro is put on NXT or on NXT UK which could benefit him and other upcoming talents on both brands instead of instead of him being put on the main roster and doing nothing. The main event was a champion showcase tag team match between the Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch and Bayley versus the Women's Tag Team Champions Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. The match was not the highlight, it was what happened after the match. Sasha would interfere and started attacking Becky and Sasha took a chair and started giving some chair shots to Becky. Bailey would come in and pull the chair away from Sasha. It was looking like that she had come for the save. But she started attacking Becky Lynch with a chair which has confirmed that she has finally turned heel. This has sparked more interest for the Sasha-Becky feud. And we might get some answers on this week's Smackdown about this whole situation. So that was the review for Monday Night Raw for September 2nd, 2019. A good show with a great cliffhanger at the end. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. We here in Slammer Wrestling also have a flagship podcast called the D-Money and Stupid Podcast dropping every week. So make sure to check that out. You can find Slam Up Wrestling on Instagram at Slam Up Wrestling, Twitter at Slam Up W, and on Facebook as well. And make sure to subscribe to Slam Up Wrestling right here on YouTube.